Hey guys, this is Max Chavity here and welcome back to another video. This is the Roof Heaven 97 update reports because I was doing some signaling work here. So here we have new signals, for example this is P03 W7. I'll explain the numbers later. So yeah. Now let's go to the station where I started work on all the way to York. Well I did go a bit further than that, so let's go to the start. Okay, so now we are at Pram Road Station where I begin my work. So let's see. The first signals here are numbered 1 and 2. So this is BL02W7 and this is BL01W7. The BL stands for a long lock signal, which means that it's a lock signal and the track it controls is quite long and as a result you can stop from 0 0.7 all the way to 0 0.1 in the next signal. So yeah, you might have noticed that all my signals have yellow on top and red on the bottom. Well, that's for visibility, that's for better visibility actually because you, mu you must see the red signal before you start seeing the yellow signal. Well, it's hard to explain, but yeah, it's to improve the visibility of the signal itself. So next up, we have more signals here. These are shorter block signals, and thus they only have B. This is B0197, and yeah. As you can see here, there's also redstone lamps placed next to the signal for better visibility options in the dark. I'm having night vision right now so you can see everything. And here's a home signal which means that it controls the platforms and if there's a train occupying the platform, it will light up. So yeah. Well for train drivers you don't have to know all the types of signals because they sort of mean the same thing. Well, at least I tried to make them mean the same thing, so yeah, that's cool. And you might notice that some signals like this one don't have a yellow or a red signal on them because they don't really need it. And yeah, let's move on. So moving on, this in this tunnel we have lock signals. Well, they are the short type, so that means they only start with B. For this, for these signals, you can't stop <coughs> in time from 0 0.7 to 0 in a length in the length of a signal, which means that you have to stop earlier before you see the yellow signal. I mean, yeah, you have to slow down earlier. So yeah, let's move on. Over here we have a redstone lamp that is actually hooked up to the red signal at the bottom. This is to also improve the visibility of the uh, red signal because you can't really notice the red signal from the stop position which is the block before the banner that says 7 with a line across it so yeah well most of our most of my signals are for visibility for better visibility so let's move on over here you have, we can see another type of signal, although it's still marked BL, but these type of signals, they tend to break often, so I think I'll have to fix them later. So for this type of signals, um, to make the line still reliable, I have put in a sign saying that you can proceed when it's red after one minute of waiting. Well, there's only two examples of the type of signals due to its unreliability. And in the next few days, I'll change them, probably. <laughs> so, yeah. Over here, we have BL0977, of the same type of signal, but it has two trapdoors at the side to indicate, its, to indicate the signal positions. That is because it cannot be seen from the signal behind it, I mean in front of it, which is BL0.07W7. So 
So yeah, that's the reason for the trapdoors. So now, moving on, we have another station right here, which also has a home signal, marked with a H. And yeah, over here we have a P signal, which means that it is a repeating signal. The reason behind the P is because R is used for reversal signals, which is a completely different thing. So the P signal basically tells you that the next signal is red, and thus it only has a yellow lamp. And over here we have another type of signal, which looks a bit strange, but it also does its job. So yeah, let's move on. This is 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23 and 25 okay I think that's B11 whatever so yeah um, in one direction I have signals that are all odd numbered while in the other direction it is all even numbered so that tells you the direction as well over here we have another station with a home signal in front of it and just some incomplete signals that I'll have to do later. So, yeah. And at the end here, we have a quadruple track uh, arrangement, which means that we have to put arrows uh, on top of the signal to tell you which track it is. Although it should be quite obvious which track it's controlling due to its, due to its closeness to one track than the other. But most people will still think that, well, most people might think that it is otherwise, and so, as a result, I have it here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day and goodbye.